America in the crosshairs. A new report from the Pentagon says that China is actively developing its fleet of long-range bombers and likely training its pilots for missions over the U.S. Joining me now, CNN military and diplomatic analyst, retired Rear Admiral John Kirby. Uh, this is alarming because Ch China's been making military moves for some time to, right. to expand its military power and influence abroad. What do we see in this report? This report, I think, makes clear that they have continued that process, that, that, that they, are, they view the first two decades of this century as an era of strategic opportunity to expand and develop what they call their comprehensive national power. This report lays out some very specific examples of how they're doing that. So let's take a look at them. They're giving the Chinese Air Force now a nuclear mission, the ability to arm bombers, as you said, uh, Jim, with nuclear missiles that could actually go as far and perhaps be as accurate as to attack uh, U.S. targets. Mm -hmm. um, they're, again, that's the, for the training of their pilots. They're also modernizing the People's Liberation Army to be able to conduct complex joint and out-of-area operations, something we've not seen the Chinese Army because able to do. Uh, until this point, they'd focus their attention on their borders and, and the immediate surroundings. So now they, they right. want to be able to project, project power where the U.S. is dominant. Exactly. It's not just about area dominance now it's power projection in an expeditionary way out of area and across the globe also in, in keeping with that they're expanding their ring of bases so we've talked about the bases in the nine dash line in the in the sphere of influence they're creating in the south china sea but they're also now trying to contract for and build bases in countries around the world pakistan djibouti they really want a more robust global footprint now the other big adversary of course is russia and folks of course think of russian cyber attacks interference in the election Right. etc. But in space, uh, there's a new satellite that's drawing the yeah. attention of the U.S. This has really flummoxed experts. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're not exactly sure, nobody's exactly sure, what this satellite is meant to do. Uh, they have been observing very weird behavior from it. It has been sidling up to other Russian satellites. It's been directing itself even to stages, launch stages that took put it into orbit. It's been kind of moving over and around them. So it's got some sort of self-movement capability. In addition, it appears to be able to launch some sub-satellites, smaller satellites out of it. You can see in this video here that it can do that. Now, what we're not clear is if, if, if this is just purely peaceful. Does, is, it a, is it a repair and refueling capability? Or is there a more sinister uh, intent here to maybe weaponize space or to be able to knock out other satellites? And that, of course, would, would significantly hurt the U.S. because we're very dependent, both civilian and military, on satellite Absolutely. capabilities. Uh, so is the U.S., I mean, one of the big debates has been does the U.S. then weaponize in right. space uh, to deter and respond to attacks? Well, it's a very interesting question. It's controversial. But if you, you can get the clues for where the United States is going by looking at the National Defense Authorization Act that the president just signed, which authorizes uh, a, a space warfighting policy and tells the Department of Defense to stand up the Space Command. Not the Space Force, mm -hmm. the 6th military branch, but a unified branch. Right. Also, look at the National Defense Strategy. If you just look at the first page, these two sentences sit side by side with one another and clearly make, make China and Russia adversaries of the United States. And they always, whenever I speak to intelligence officials, they always put China and Russia at the top of their list of threats. And that's and, and right here. here. It is right there. Admiral John Kirby, thanks very much.